obviously the topic that's on everyone's mind is Tom Brady's future. What is he going to do? Is he going to still be with this particular franchise? The uncomfortable part from a fan standpoint, from a former teammate standpoint, from anyone working in the media, is that the rules of the game were set many, many months ago. And there's nothing really new going on that could project you anything to what's going to happen when we get here to mid-March. Because these guys agreed in August that they really weren't going to broach this subject until after the season, this wasn't one of your normal in-season negotiations as if hey you're having a great year we've now reached mid-December let's talk a little bit about it you know pre playoffs let's go ahead and extend this thing that was not the rules of the game the rules of the game here well we're gonna let this thing play out there's a poison pill on the on the original contract we did it's a two-year thing but the buyout would hurt you very badly if I were not to be here nobody likes to carry dead money so the reality of the situation is as much as we like to speculate about it talk about it wonder what might happen until they sit down and have those conversations many, many weeks from now, presumably, it isn't going to get advanced. The ball is not going to go anywhere. And I think that's important because they got to come up with a term. They got to come up with a rate. They got to come up with some conditions probably for players around Tom uh, moving forward. And all these things are going to be conversations, not just directly, no one way street, as Coach Belichick said, not just Bill. It's Tom on the other side, presumably Mr. Kraft, maybe even Josh, maybe even some of the other guys. But this is one of the few instances where Tom has a full look at the entire field of the NFL to make that decision. And he wants the conditions to be right here. So can't know until those conversations happen. Now it's just silly speculation.